What's up guys, Kevin over at Leg Bros coming back to another video today. I might have overpaid on this one. I paid a lot of money for this one. Uh, all I saw and I acted very, very quickly on eBay was a picture of a bucket that looked like it was like really, really, really full of Lego <laughs> and the figures on the top were really, really, really good. Uh, and I started freaking out and uh, my number brain just did not make any sense. I quickly messaged the person, how many pounds is it? Just to see how big the bucket was. They estimated like, I don't remember what they said, four and a half, five pounds or something like that. Uh, it did come in, I think close to four. So not quite as much as they thought, but I paid a lot. <laughs> I paid a lot for this one. Uh, there's some good figs, hopefully, I didn't see all of them, so I mean, I'm, I'm, I might have done okay. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I paid over a thousand dollars for this one. Yikes! Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. But there's a lot of figs, you know. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's also a lot of stuff like this, uh, which weighs a lot, and that really bothers me when that's put into the poundage of, of figures. But, you know, it was something I acted on very quickly. I did not think very much about it. I just kind of acted and I did it. And that's, you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes your uh, your impatience gets the best of you. We'll see how we did though. I know there's gonna be a lot of tings in here. So buckle up for that one. We're gonna do the whole haul for you because that's what I like to do for you guys. Uh, is uh, a lot of people request, they really love the long videos sometimes to put on in the background when they're doing other stuff. And that's what we're here for. So we're gonna go through this. I don't know what those go to. That's like the, the same piece as the uh, Deep Freeze Defender, but it's black. Interesting. Uh, Stores.ebay.com slash legbos where you can find this stuff. The link down below for Whatnot as well. We'll get you $10 off your first purchase if you've never purchased anything before on Whatnot. Uh, so use that link down below because I might need some money <laughs> after I lose my, you know what, on this haul. Who knows? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, and also Athletic Greens and also other cool links in the P.O. Box down below. If you just want to sell me all your collection so I don't have to pay, you know, overpay for it, you could do that too. <laughs> Raz Al Ghul is our first ting of the day. I don't think that's his hair. I think that's a Doctor Strange hair. Maybe he has that hair too. Not 100% sure there, but Raz Al Ghul is a solid figure to start out with. We also do have Cole Obsidian, good for 30 bucks or so as well. Solid tings we're starting out with. There's going to be a lot of them, I can tell you that. Uh, Killer Croc in this form is very rare. Uh, I think the other one is slightly more rare, the one that has like the Rancor fingers, but that one is really, really good as well. We might have to even clear off our ting pile. I don't know. Let's do, let's do this. Somebody suggested this earlier. Let's put the ting pile. We're going to change things up here. Let's put the ting pile at the top so we can scoop if we need more room because there's so many things. Smart idea, right? I never thought of it. I never, not once did I think of it. Uh, we do have the yellow dot. Uh, vision, which is the one I don't really get very often. I usually get the blue dot one. There is the yellow dot vision, solid ting right there. Uh, hopefully we do have the mask, but this is ultraviolet. It's supposed to be wearing the Oni mask. That is a solid ting right there as well. We do also have Karloff, the master of metal, about 25 to 30 bucks right there as well. So you can say we're starting off pretty good. You know, I saw figures like this and I'm like, yes. <laughs> it ended up being less figures than I was hoping for. So hopefully we make it up. Hopefully we make it up. So we start getting this kind of stuff here as well. The other thing I didn't see in here was city. I saw like zero city figs. And that's why I was like, okay, you know, if I can get like four to five bucks per not city fig, I'm okay. Even if it is three pounds, that's, that's pretty good. That's 1500 bucks, you know, just on the regular figures there, like this kind of guy. Uh, there's another Ninjago guy. We're going to whip through those because we don't have time to spend on all of those. Uh, he's not supposed to have one of those, but this is Mr. E, which I will make into a $40 Mr. E by putting the other base on him. So that's a solid figure right there. Uh, we do also have the Ice Samurai. There is a lot of Ninjago in here, but there's also superheroes, Star Wars, all sorts of stuff. A little bit of something for everyone. We do have the Endgame Hawkeye. This is going to be weird. I don't know how I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> I'm trying to trying to figure it out here. Kite Man. Uh, we do have just a Vermilion. There is a Emmet. Uh, a um, Falcon. This guy, I don't know. Let's put him in research. If we have enough room for a research pile, we'll see. Another Ice General. I don't remember what the Ice General's names are. If you know what that one is, if you know, you know. That is the Overlord bottom half, which even if the top half is not in here, I already have 
you know, like 20 top halves. I just need the bottom half on everything. $50 Overlord from Ninjago right there. We have the Sky Blue um, Black Panther rip. There is the old school, not old school, old Obi. Uh, I don't think any of this kind of stuff has any value, but that's just an Ninjago spinner right there. We have a Thor right here. More pieces. More pieces adding to the weight. Oh, gosh. More pieces. Eek. There's a Rogue One Stormy. Fantastic. I'm not going to put him in the ting pile, though. That is one of the better mini minifigures for a uh, Stormtrooper that you can get. We do have Clancy here as well. There's a Batman right there. This looks like an Asphira thing from... Uh... Oh, well, that's probably from the Ice Samurai is the one that was used. Uh, we got the Mini Snake. We got... Woo! Hopefully that's what we're going to be saying quite a bit in this haul. <laughs> we do have Gamora. It looks like they're in pretty good shape as well, so that always helps. Gamora is a pretty solid $10 figure or so. We have Batman. Uh, I don't remember what that guy's name is. He's the one that eats all the time. Uh, we have another Ninjago ghost there. Here is Iron Man. Those guys always go up there because they sell so easily. Two more of these. Ooh, look at this piece. That goes to a flying monkey uh, is what that goes to... Nice. Hopefully those are in here. That'd be nice. Uh, we have a Princess Leia. This one, I don't remember what this comes from. I haven't seen that dot before. They're always off on the printing of these. They just have not figured out how to print those things straight. <laughs> I don't know what that comes from. Possibly really, really good because I haven't seen it or it's just really new and that's why I haven't seen it. I don't know. Uh, we do have another uh, Sky Pirate here. We have Hermione. Uh, this is a gray helmet that I believe goes to some, like, Ninjago statue or something like that. We do have Ghost from Ant-Man right here. There's a brick separator. I mean, we're already getting our money back now. <laughs> There's another Ice General and a Stone Warrior. We do have Groot here as well. Never remember what this guy's name is. He's, like, the digital, uh, sensei guy. Don't remember that guy's name there. There's a Destroyer. We have a Gingerbread Man. That's a pretty decent one there as well. Iron Man as well goes up there. This is the green arm two-tone Robin. I'm going to change out his torso. I will keep the arms, though. Looks like the arms are in good shape, but the torso is chewed up. Uh, this is, I think, like a $35, $40 fig with the solid green arms, not the light green like you would see in um, the Lego movie, Lego Batman movie, Robin. So I'll fix that guy up, but he'll be a good $35, $40 bucks there as well. We do have Garmin on here. As you can see, we, we have not even made a dent. Uh, in this stuff. There's some more Ninjago figs, and these guys I sell in bulk. Uh, not bulk bulk, but like, I, I, you know, put them in packs, basically. Uh, there's a Ninjago fig, too. I don't remember what her name was. I actually sold her just recently. This is one of the generals from Vermilion, the Ragmonk, or whatever the other guy's name was. I'm not 100% sure. There is a good $15 Garmin on. I'll put a cape on him. Another woo, of course. Gotta get those woos. We do have Shade here, which is a great fig. Uh, that one, it's not tremendous. As as cool as he looks, I thought his value would go up quite a bit more. Uh, I was wondering, the person had another lot that had the rest of this one in there, uh, and it's really a bummer. It did not have the headpiece. I'm going to have to contact him and be like, hey, can I just buy that one figure? Because uh, you gave me, like, part of it. They had other lots, which I don't know why, and their other lots were way overpriced, which is kind of why... I, you know, there this lot was overpriced too, but I ended up paying because there was so many figures. But uh, this goes to a hundred dollar fig uh, from Ninjago. I'm trying to remember what her name was. It's the Wolf Akita, I think, is the name uh, of that fig. Let's move these down here. I know it's weird to move it down. The ting piles at the top today, boys. Uh, somebody suggested. I'm like, why did I not think of that? I think that's a Ninjago figure too. Not a hundred percent sure. Uh, there's an Iron Man helmet. We'll put that up there. Oh, look at this. We got our uh, ultraviolet Oni mask. Look at that. Needs the other side there, but otherwise we're doing pretty good. Uh, there is a Rocket Raccoon. We have a Killmonger, which is a solid find right there as well. Uh, this one, ooh, that is classic Batman, but that is Giant Man uh, from the Ant-Man series. This is a solid find there too. Hopefully we find the classic Batman. That'd be pretty cool. There's Ron. Here is an Ice Samurai helmet. Might as well put it on there, I guess. Uh, more pieces. Ooh. Wait. Ugh, more pieces. Oh, no. I see more pieces up here, too. Oh, the item weight. Oh, God. It's so... <laughs> it's so off now. Uh, that guy's arm is cracked, but that is the pink Joker. I think this is classic Joker, so this could be good news for us. I don't remember how much that classic Joker is. I'm guessing that's the classic Batman there that came with that as well. There's one classic Batman that's really good, and there's one that's decent. 
Uh, I don't remember which one is which, but uh, there's Electric Batman. That's a pretty decent one as well. I'll have to look up his value. Uh, we have a Legacy Lloyd. There's another Destroyer. Here's Qui-Gon Jinn with printed legs. Uh, unfortunately, he is kind of chewed up, just as I said something about condition. That's that's when things happen. Uh, Qui-Gon Jinn, I'll replace some pieces on him. The important thing is really the head for me. Uh, Legacy Cole. Hey, look at this. Nice. Not cracked. Uh, we have Possessed Lloyd. That is a $50 figure right there as well. Uh, here is uh, Black Widow. We have uh, Hands of Time, I think. Is that that one? Kai? Hands of Time, Kai. Look at this. Time Twin with the cape. Just need the helmet, which hopefully is in here somewhere. Uh, that is the Young Time Twin. I'm trying to remember which one is which. Crux and Acronix. Uh, I don't remember which one is the young one. Uh, we have Digi J. Here is a Superman... Don't know who that is. We'll put that one over there, too, because I have no idea. You can comment below anytime if you know which figures are which. Uh, we do also have a Scarecrow. That's good for 20 bucks. once I put his hat on. There is a Black Panther fig. I'm trying to remember what her name was. Okoye or something like that. That's the general, the military general. Uh, we have a Lloyd. Ooh, do we have the rest of the fig in here? There's Kilo's helmet. That would be really nice. Even the helmet itself or the, the mask itself is really good. Uh, here is a Nindroid with a jetpack, which is kind of neat. Uh, I don't know where this went. Did it go on him? We'll just put it down. We'll just put it right there for right now. He's got like some kind of jetpack. That's one of the newer Nindroids. Um, I don't have any packs for the newer Nindroids. I mostly sell the older ones. Uh, we do have a Green Lantern in here as well. That's a $15 ting. Oh, another Mr. E. All right. Make another $40 Mr. E right there. Mr. E times two. Here's some of those rat guys. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. I think that's a portal gun don't know don't know don't have time to figure it out <laughs> ninja ride uh nothing there that was just a um over uh over wait overrider wait i don't care outrider there we go uh here's a 40 dollars garment on with the purple top half that's the one that you want right there that is the best garment on around uh, we also do have a Superman. So you can see why I was like, I got to get this lot before anybody else does. <laughs> uh, sometimes that's good. Sometimes that's bad. This guy's got a bug on him, which is gross. At least it's a bug carcass. <laughs> I'm going to change the uh, the cape because I have plenty of capes for this guy. I'm guessing this was like an estate sale or something like that, or like a collection that was sitting in the garage or I have no idea. That's gross. <laughs> that's disgusting. Uh, anyways, that's a solid $35 Moro right there. Probably change out his cape. I have capes in better condition. Uh, there's another Iron Man. We'll put him up there. Uh, Kai, we do have Commissioner Gordon, the cheaper version of him. Here is a, another one of the Ice Generals. There is a Chima Fig. That's uh, nothing really there. Uh, we also have Lloyd, C-3PO. Here is Han Solo in his newer Hoth outfit. Uh, Mad Eye Moody, I think, is relatively good. I'll have to look him up as well. Not 100% sure. That's the newer version there. Uh, there's Lloyd. We also do have a Doctor Strange with a two piece cape here as well. I think this part of the cape is supposed to be starch, not spongy. He's got like starch top, spongy bottom. So I have to look into that. But pretty much all Doctor Stranges are pretty good, other than the, uh, the new one. This one might be where this came from, and it's a statue of some sort. I still don't remember what it was. Um, comment below if you know. There's a speed champion right there. We do have Queenie with a purple... I don't know if that's what she came with, but a little purple outfit there. Uh, is it chewed up? Oh, no. It is kind of chewed up. I'm really hoping the rest of the figures are in here. And that's, I also saw, I saw this guy, uh, the top of him anyway. And I was like, that might mean that the Death Star figures are in there. This came from the new Death Star. And I'm really sad it's kind of chewed up because uh, I've never gotten this astromech before, ever. <laughs> never, ever gotten it. Surprisingly, he's actually one of the cheaper figures from that Death Star set. Uh, I might still be able to do something with him. And he's really cool because I've never gotten him. So we'll still put him up there. Uh, it wasn't his fault somebody chewed on him. Uh, <laughs> There's another, there's another Ice General. Here's one of the newer uh, Rebel Fleet Troopers, who actually are more valuable than the older ones. 
Uh, I don't know if they're ting value, but they are more valuable for sure. Uh, Catwoman and Joker. Here is Corvus Glaive. That is another $30 minifigure right there. Uses the same cape as Moro. Uh, I'll just put a hood on him. He will be $30 as well. Uh, Vermilion and a Chima piece. Here is Commander Machia, which is a fantastic fig as well. About $30, I believe, on her. $30 or $40, to be honest. Uh, the bright red Astromex. Sometimes he, these Astromex, poor guys. You can see they just got some scratches on them. They just got a little beat, a little beat up, unfortunately. Uh, so, uh, Kabu Sabuki? Kabuki twin. A Kabuki twin? Uh, <laughs> something's wrong with that guy's arm. <laughs> That's like Zebra Man or something like that. One of the newer Hoth Rebels. Uh, we have Zane. Iron Legion is going to be our next ting of the day. That is uh, 20 bucks. They've come down a little bit. I used to be able to sell those things in a hot second, but... Uh, they've slowed down a little bit in the selling form. Uh, we do have Batgirl and uh, Captain America. Not much to see there. Crossbones, kind of a unique one, but not much to see in terms of value. More endgame figs. It looks like uh, Black Widow and Thor. Oh, man, I gotta breathe. <laughs> More Phantom guys. Uh, there is Teenage Groot. Lego Movie Guy. That's one of my favorite Lego Movie figs right there. The Mad Scientist. Need the mullet, though. Needs the mullet. We'll put them aside just in case we see the mullet later on. Uh, here's another Overlord, not the one that we want for this one. That's still about 15 bucks or so. Probably could go in the ting pile, but I don't know. We don't have room. Uh, that's Ebony Maw. I always forget what that guy's name is. I don't remember what his value is either. We'll put him up there. Uh, we do have uh, Endgame Ant-Man. Uh, let's see. There's just some... I think these are... Uh, Sons of Garmin are Hunted. I don't remember which season those guys... I always get those confused. A uh, little mini snake. We also have Starfire here for our next ting. About $25 to $30 for the Starfire from the Teen Titans. Uh, this one is Aaron Cash, which I did realize. I didn't know who he was originally, but that's from the Arkham Breakout. Uh, I don't remember what his value was, though. Maybe $10, $15. Bucks. I'll have to look that one up, too. Uh, that is Nia, I believe. Hmm. I'll have to look that one up, too. Uh, what is that guy's name? Dabloon. Crazy, crazy looking day. Uh, there's just a Star Wars fig. We have Man Bat, channel favorite Man Bat. There's Harry Potter. Hey, look what we found. There's the top half. Just need the helmet piece, which I have plenty of helmets if it's not in here, but that is an overlord that you want. It was $50. Now it's probably even more than that. I don't know. I haven't sold it in a while. Uh, Harumi, that's good for another 20 right there. Uh, dark blue cape on that Chima guy. That's pretty cool. Uh, we might have to scoop this pile off the table here. Uh, nothing much there. Just some superheroes and Ninjago. More Ninjago. Uh, here is Advanced Suit, I think. Ant-Man. Don't want that helmet. Should that helmet go on him? I feel like those two are switched. Where's the other Ant-Man? See, now, now I got a pile. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like this goes... I feel like maybe I'm making a mistake, but I feel like this goes on this and this goes on this. No? I don't know. Oh, I'll put those over here. I gotta, I gotta, look, I gotta look that up. <laughs> I don't know. It feels right, though. Uh, there is a Rogue One Stormy there as well. Not sure where these parts and pieces came from. Uh, another Outrider, Legacy Kai. There's a uh, Jellyfish Man. There's a coal I've never seen before. Must be slightly newer. Uh, Vermilion, another Ice Samurai right there. This one is... I always forget what this guy's name is, and I have no idea what his value is either. Um, comment below. I, I always forget that guy. I'm going to get a bin. I'm going to get a bin. I have one right here, I think. Just give you some ASMR. A little ASMR break 18 minutes in. ASMR. Not gonna lie, that was a lot easier. <laughs> Smash like for that guy's idea of putting the ting pile on the top. People are gonna be like, what? It's gonna be hard to get used to, but boy, was that easier. Uh, <laughs> uh, here's another Harumi, but the yellow version is not quite as good as the uh, black and blue version. There is another version of her in green that's even more valuable. That's the one you're really looking for. Uh, here's our bad cop. Uh, no scribble face, unfortunately. That's the one you want on bad cop. Uh, we have Harley Quinn. I don't think that's one of her tremendously valuable versions. Uh, another Destroyer. 
Don't know who that guy is. You guys can comment below if you know who that guy is. We'll put him down there. Research has kind of merged with the other stuff, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, here's Anakin. He's unfortunately chewed up there as well, so we're not going to put him in, in, in a ting pile or anything. Uh, there is Deepstone uh, J, Professor Snape, Endgame Nebula. Looks like we have a whole Endgame lot here. Uh, there's Dumbledore, two tone leg Batman's pretty cool. That one I think came in an exclusive pack. That Sky Pirate I don't think was released in a regular set. Uh, here we could make some Yodas from the new uh, Fountain set, right? This this creepy Dobby has those two tone legs. We could use those. <laughs> we could we could use them. There's our Rogue One Stormy, right there. Vermilion Hat, R two again. There is kind of one of the cooler. I think that's a Blade Master or something. One of the cooler um, of the. Ninjago ghost guys. Here is Harley Quinn with the little tutu. I think that goes on her. Here's Makia. Where do we put her? Nice. More and more complete as we go. There's another doubloon. Here is one of the darker uh, Wookiees with the arm printing. Don't know the value of that guy. It's not Tarful, so I doubt it's very good. But so we can see we did have the Death Star. Here's the Han Solo from the Death Star. Don't know that guy's value either, because like I said, I haven't sold Death Star figs before. So uh, I've sold a couple like here and there, but not like all of them. So I'm hoping all of them are in here. Woo! There's a golden woo. We don't know the value of that woo. Destroyer. Here we have Ultron MK1. He's about 10 to 15 bucks. He's a cool one though. He sells very easily. Uh, Tron, we have Rinsler. That's a great one. About 25, 30 bucks right there. Garmadon, four arms. He's about 15 bucks. He is a kind of a tough sell though. That is his value. It's fair value, but it takes a little while to sell in. Uh, ooh, someone just asked me about one of these, and I did not have one, and now I do. So uh, if it was you that asked me, hit me up. We got one. <laughs> I think it goes like this, though. Pretty sure... Wait. No, this goes like this. This. I think it goes like this, if I'm not mistaken. Yes? No? Something like that? Blue Beetle. Really, really, really cool fig I haven't gotten in a long time. That one's super cool. Uh, I did not see that one in there, so that's cool. Uh, there's another uh, Cape Man Batman. This one actually is relatively valuable, the Invisibility Cape Harry. I don't remember how valuable, but because I haven't gone through Harry Potter figs in a long time. Uh, there's our Disco Batman. Not the, quite the Disco Batman we're hoping for, uh, but it is a Disco Batman nonetheless. Uh, there is a Harry Potter fig, creepy eyes, Hawkeye, Hawkeye, uh, Nightwing, not Hawkeye, Nightwing, Ninjago fig, don't know what that guy is though. Here's our pointy short cape, Robin, that cape's been through better days. Whew. <laughs> Here we go, Classics, uh, classic Batman, I think this is the less valuable classic Batman. Not 100% sure, but I think that Joker and that Batman came together, and I think they're slightly less valuable than the other ones. Uh, here is an Iron Man version, but I don't... Research? Research over here. <laughs> you know, they're separate piles, all right? Deal with it. <laughs> uh, Superman right there. That cape is... It's not how you put on a cape. It's not how you put on a cape. Uh, another Outrider times two. Ooh, another Ultraviolet. There's the other version of her. Slightly less valuable, I think, though. Uh, Maya, Kai, and Nia's mother. Good for another 30 bucks right there or so. We got Palpatine. I'm going to pass out from standing up and bending over too much. My, this is a terrible idea. I had a headache already, and here we go. Uh, <laughs> there's Padawan Obi, I believe. Uh, Mr. Freeze. We're not even through this bag. Destroyer. We got another Spider-Man here. Here's an Acidicus headpiece, which is always good. We'll use that, no problem. We have a Killer Moth. Oh, nice. There's the tail. I have a whole bunch of these guys without tails. Uh, that is the um, the flying monkey tail. So that's awesome. Even if we don't get the flying monkey, just the tail is nice. Uh, this The figs in this set were really good too. The one with the Wicked Witch uh, and those flying monkeys. Wicked Witch is not super valuable because she came in another set or a series or something. Um, that ruined her value, but the monkeys are good. Uh, there is a Scout Trooper. I think that one's still one of the better ones. I think he's getting released in a poly bag, though. I think I saw something on that on Instagram or something like that. Uh, there's an Android. We have uh, Ronin. Ro Ro Ronin? 
Ronin, I think. He's pretty solid, pretty solid good guy there. Uh, this is Killmonger with the mask version, I believe. And I'm going to put that one up there because I think that's what it is. Uh, we also have Chumsworth, which is a fantastic one. Pythor Chumsworth. Uh, Proxima Midnight, garbage. Uh, here is the other Harumi. We got all the Harumis. Look at that. Spun her head around, right around like a uh, exorcist Harumi. <laughs> we got the yellow Harumi, yellow Harumi, the black Harumi, and the green Harumi. Just missing her mask, which hopefully is in here. That is all three made, I believe, unless they might have made more for the new diamond or uh, new crystallized season. But solid, solid find right there. Here's the other Tron fig right here. There's Sam Flynn. That's a solid fig right there. I thought that was Tron, but it looks... Tell me if that does not look like a Tron fig. <laughs> Black Widow could totally go in with Tron right there. I, th I think that's Black Widow anyway. Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, but really, man, it really looked like Tron. Uh, there is the, what we could commonly refer to as Rex, but uh, Hoth Trooper. Another Batman. Not much there. Uh, Jellyfish Warrior. Here's Char from Ninjago. That's a good one right there as well. Thought he'd be worth a lot more than he was. Uh, we also have... Oh, she does have a skirt. Okay. I'm always missing the skirt on this one. Uh, let's fix it so it looks better. People don't know how to put the skirt on. you got to pull the cape. Or pull the... you got to pull the skirt around. Does she put it on the back or the front? <laughs> There's going to be a hole. Is the hole on the back? <laughs> <laughs> which way is which way is worse is the hole in the back or is the hole in the front you gotta turn it put it that way i think the front i think that's the front and that's the back but i'll fix it later pretty sure yeah i mean it wouldn't make sense right right let's fix it now i mean it's already been it's not like it's already been 26 minutes or anything like that that i've taken your guys's attention for right maybe i got it wrong i don't know <laughs> oh, that probably doesn't make sense, because then she can't move her legs. All right. All right. I'm done. I promise. <laughs> I'm not going to take it off again. I promise. Uh, she's about 40 bucks. I have plenty of her headpieces, even if it's not in here. So uh, that's going to be a solid fig right there. See what I mean? I saw some stuff. Deepstone Kai. Uh, Sabuki Twin again there. Here is another Ninjago fig. One of the extras that I don't really know much about. Uh, here's a Porg, a Christmas Porg. That's kind of cool. Uh, some of the Porgs are actually worth quite a bit of money. There's our uh, Sensei from the digital things headpiece. Uh, let's see. I, I don't remember what that guy's name is, but I can't say it because I don't remember. <laughs> I remember, but I don't remember. I know who he is, but I don't remember his name. Uh, there is, I believe that is from the classic um, Batman as well, but don't know value-wise what it is. Another Outrider... Another digi rat guy from, um, whatchamacallit, Ninjago. Uh, there it is. Look at that. Complete. We have the Raging Bat Suit, um, the Boxer. Boxer Batman. That one's pretty cool. Another Overlord. Uh, one of the generals from Ninjago movie. There's Alfred from that classic Batman as well. To look up his value too. Don't know. Here's another one of those statues. Uh, so we got two of those. Interesting. Endgame War Machine. We have Hunted J, I believe is what that one is. Uh, another one of those. Oops, hello. Uh, there is Helmet Captain America. Another Phantom. Another Black Panther. We'll look through the parts and pieces here in a sec. Here's the Riddler from Arkham Escape. I don't think he's very valuable. Uh, Return of the Jedi Luke. Another one, I think this is the other uh, unique Sky Pirate that came, yeah, I think that came in the set with the other guy that we showed uh, before. Here is Scorpion, that is a good 25, 30 bucks right there as well. He's come down a little bit in price, he was really hot for a moment there. Uh, another Iron Man, no idea the value of that one particularly. Ooh, look at that one. This one at one point was 85 bucks, he's come down a little bit to earth, uh, but that is Iron Spider right there from the Sanctum set, I believe is what that one was from. Here is our Jammies Garmadon. Just wearing his jammies, no problem. No problem, what is that? Don't think that's uh, Epic Games. They made Fortnite, right? No, I don't remember. Come at me. <laughs> I never played it. Uh, there's another one of the um, Doctor Strange figs. Oh! Is that? 
I think that's a really good Luke. Or oh, it's just new. Research. I think that might be a good Luke, that, that headpiece. Uh, we also have the um, Genie. Wow. From Ninjago. Not a con. There we go. Got him. <laughs> 35 to 40 bucks on that one. Here's our Raging Bat Suit helmet, I think. Uh, is what that one goes to. Uh, another one of those, another one of those. Different Disco Batman. Still not the Disco Batman we want, though. Lando. We got Star-Lord. Here's another Harley. Uh, there is Ray, Ray, uh, Kai and um, Nia's dad, which is also good, just like Maya. Uh, man, I had a lot of these little Ice Samurai. There is a Ghost Rider who is cracked. Ghost Rider, who is cracked. Uh, this goes to the uh, the other Killer Croc version that I was talking about, but I don't see that in here. <laughs> Parts and pieces. Uh, we do have the Brown Ninja Dareth, which is a great fig there as well, about 25 bucks. Here is our uh, Sensei Garmadon. He's about 25, 30 bucks as well. Nothing there. Gamer Nia, that's a good for about $15. I'll sell that one pretty quickly. <clears throat> I could probably put that one up there. I think the Neo one's the one you want from the Gamer series. Could be wrong, but it's the one I've gotten recently. I think this is... Harumi? Did Harumi get buried? Nope, there she is. There we go. There we go. Special cape, special hairpiece. Look at this guy. He's gone up to like 50 bucks lately. Polka dot man. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. Sometimes things just go crazy for no reason. <laughs> I have no idea why. Uh, Hagrid, there's another Ice Samurai guy. Uh, let's see what else we have. C-3PO, where's the Death Star figures? Where's the Death Star figures? Uh, another Vermilion. Dick Grayson, I think, is that guy's name? Uh, nothing there, nothing there. Superman, there's our Sidicus. His torso's torn up. At least the tail's not, though. So we'll be able to use that put the head and the tail on a different torso. Uh, we got Homer Simpson. Here is the mutant leader, little hidden ting right there. That's the one that came in the Bane set. Uh, so that's one people don't really realize. They skip over quite a bit. Here's another char. That's what he's supposed to look like. We had the tail earlier. Uh, nothing there. Ginny. There's our Scarecrow. Um, is that gray, Percival Graves' hair? I don't know. Research. Research. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of headpieces and stuff like that in here. Destroyer. Here's another Pythor. About 15 to 20 bucks there. We have a Sphera, which is a good one. That's about 25, 30 bucks. Uh, here is Zane the Pink Ninja. That's a cool one. I saw that one very, very quickly. Not a super value, but I saw it very quickly. So that's there's value in that, selling things fast. Um, here's the here's the headpiece I was talking about. Tell me that headpiece is not epic. So good. So much hair. There's so much hair. Uh, there's another Harley Quinn piece. Put them together. Uh, Sensei Yang or something like that. It's a good fig. Another Pythor. The other version. You can see we have three different versions of Pythor Chumsworth. Whoa, Char. Easy there, buddy. Uh, look at that. Pretty much all the versions of Pythor. I think there's one more version of the white. Uh, that we don't have in here. I don't see the Death Star figs. I'm really upset. <laughs> I was really hoping for those. Uh, some more of those. Ooh, the white protocol droid. Um, what is his name? K3PO or something like that. I don't remember what that guy's name is. I think he's pretty good though. Uh, there's our Killer Moth headpiece. This might be the general from the Death Star. Quite possibly. He's not in great condition, but I'm going to have to research that as well. It's possible that that one is that. Uh, nothing there, nothing there. Since we got the other Death Star figures, there's a good possibility. I might have to look that one up on stream. Just because it's... I'm curious now. More Outriders. Here's the Dragon Lady armor. There's the Captain. So we had the other Killer Croc. The person had the other Killer Croc. I wonder if it was in a different lot that they had. Uh, I'm going to keep that finger, though, because we'll be able to make... Uh, I think I have one that needs some of those fingers. Uh, let's see. All right. The rest of them are parts and pieces. 
There's some like random junk figs in here, uh, which we'll put there. There's another finger. Look at this. Well, we might be able to make a killer croc because I think I have one. Let's see. Anything else super interesting? Another monkey tail, please. I could use like four of those. So if one of those wants to make their presence heard. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get me one of those. <laughs> Uh, there's a Tron disc. Put that with our Tron guy. Um, oh, oh, here's our, I figured there'd probably be two time twins in here. Where there's one time twin, you usually get two, but at least we got one complete one, so that's something. Uh, those guys are at 75 bucks a piece, which is really good. I don't know. I don't know. You guys can tell me <laughs> if I did all right. Pretty solid ting pile, but I don't know. A lot of the things are actually quite large tings as well, which is not like all $15 tings. There's actually quite a few real big ones in there. Uh, let's look the Death Star up, because why not, right? Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, my back and my neck are dead. <laughs> Absolutely fried are my back and my neck. Uh, let's see, what were we looking for? 750, is it 59? Nope. Uh, what was the, we'll just do Death Star. Death Star, I always forget the the set number of the Death Star. Uh, not 010188, I remember that one. Death Star Ultimate Kit. 75159. Okay, no zeros there. Uh, 27 minifigs, and we barely got... We got, like, the C-3PO, probably. I <laughs> didn't get the Tarkin. That's the one you want, is the Tarkin. Mm, yeah. That guy. I don't think we got the other general, either. But, uh... At least this guy... Is that guy. Right? Wrong face. Wrong face, but that's the guy. Wrong legs, too. <laughs> pretty sure that torso is unique to him, though. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that's a solid, like, $90 uh, if it actually is, is that guy. The ones you want on the Death Star to see, though, is that guy. That guy. Uh, Tarkin. The droid's pretty good, just mostly because it's cool. And that's it. Those are the those are the ones that you want out of the Death Star for sure, because the other ones were either remade, uh, or they just weren't that valuable. They're like on other pieces or other sets and stuff like that. Um, but uh, those are the ones that you're looking for if you really need to look for a Death Star thing. Oh, here's part of the pork. Where's our Christmas pork? Look at this. Wait, is he supposed to have another white dot? I don't think he's supposed to have. <laughs> I think that white dot's supposed to go on the other side. I don't. Is it? I think he just, I think he just does this, no? Let's see who, maybe not? Christmas pork? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to build him up and have to look up the directions and see on that guy. Anyways, comment below if you have any help for the things I'm researching. If you, uh, ooh, look at this. Here's our mystery mask. It goes on that $40 mystery. Uh, I didn't see that one in there, just staring at me. Comment below if you have any help for me. Um, comment below if you think I lost tons of money. It was well over $1,000, let me just tell you that. Uh, <laughs> I was kind of embarrassed when I looked back at it, but I was like, ah, oh, there's a whole bunch of really cool figures I haven't had in a while, so whatever, who cares? Plus there was the ability that there might've been the Death Star figures in there. There might've been two Time Twins in there. You know, some things I saw, um, I was hoping the Akita was in there, but the Akita was in the other part of the lot. This one's a really good one to get. Uh, there's a lot of really good ones in here, so hopefully, hopefully it works out. We'll see. <laughs> it's my job anyways, so, you know, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you very much for watching. 39 minutes. Yikes. Comment below if you're still here. 39 minutes. And if you do, boy. I love you guys. <laughs> uh, subscribe if you're new. Might as well, right? We're doing crazy stuff. Love you. I'll catch you in the next one.